today we're going to be doing a DIY project for a clothespin bag or lingerie bag. And we're going to start by taking our hanger. In this case, I used a child size hanger that I bought from the dollar store. I traced all the way around it, added my 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, and made my pattern for the top. Maybe see the tracing right there. Then I came down and extended the length that I wanted, and you can make this as long as you want. And that became my basic pattern, and I cut two pieces of this. Now, on one of the pieces, I took my hanger again and I traced it. No seam allowance this time, just exact tracing, and I cut the middle out so that we have an opening and that's where the clothespins will go inside or our lingerie pieces or whatever we're going to store. Now you've heard me talk many times about a facing and in this case I'm going to make a facing. Now you can bind this instead of using a facing you can just use some bias tape and bind the edges of it but I don't have bias tape so I made a facing which is the same shape again and then I went and put a seam allowance on the outside of it. I think this is about an inch and a half. And I'll trim that down after I stitch it. Now the construction details of this are really simple. I'm going to start with this layer that has the cutout. I'm going to pin the facing securely onto this. And I'm going to stitch all the way around. I'm going to clip the curves. I'm going to turn the facing to the inside I'm going to press that with an iron and top stitch. When that is done, then I will take the two pieces and I will put right sides together and I will stitch all the way around. I will leave an opening at the top here for the hanger to go through, but I will stitch all the way around and then I will turn it so that it is right sides out. And then you will have the opening that the hanger can slip into and come through the top. And then your piece will be... Here we are at step one. You can see I have taken the facing and I have pinned it securely all the way around. And I'm going to sew this at a quarter of an inch away from this edge right here. And then I'm going to clip the curves. I just wanted to show you I have stitched around the facing, and I'm going to bring this up for a closer look, quarter of an inch from the edge, and the round parts, the curved parts, I have clipped those edges, and that will make it lie flat once I turn it in. And the pointy part where the hanger is at, I have clipped that as well. So the next part, we're going to turn the facing in and press it. Here you can see that I have completed the facing. I have stitched it, turned it under, and top stitched it about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And when I got to this middle point, I let my needle stay in, lifted up the pressure foot, and pivoted to go to the next side. Now the curves, I just go really slow on the curves to make it easier and make sure that they get stitched properly. This is the correct way to finish a neckline or an armhole as well. You do not want to turn it under and stitch twice. If you don't have a pattern, you can make a facing for your garment the same way that we made this one. You just want to cut it to the exact size of your neck hole or your armhole, and you want to add an extra section of allowance to be here, and you will edge finish this part, and then top, turn under or top stitch just the way you did this. Our very next step is for this top part where the opening of the hanger will come through. And I'm just going to turn that under a quarter of an inch and I'm going to top stitch it. And then I'm going to place, do the same to my back, turn it under, quarter of an inch, top stitch it. Then I'm going to place right sides together, lining up the edges, and I'm going to sew all the way around. And I'm going to do this at 5 eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to clip my curves. And I'm going to turn the piece to be right sides out. I have finished stitching around our garment. 
our clothespin lingerie bag and now I'm ready to insert the hanger to the top and it just goes in like this through the top And now we're ready to use it for our clothespins or our lingerie or our sewing notions. If you have any questions, please message me. Here's the finished bag in use. And I ended up making some top stitching right here in the middle to create two little pockets. And that gives a little bit more stability to the, the bag when the pockets are full. Let me know if you try making this and upload a pic to the group page.